Well, strong growth and persistent inflation have investors contemplating a new course for the economy in the coming year, a no landing scenario. You can read all about the newly coined outcome in today's morning brief over at the Yahoo Finance homepage. But for a deeper dive into what this means, let's welcome in Yahoo Finance's Alexander Seminova. OK, so forget soft landing, forget hard landing. What is no landing? Yes. Yeah, so Wall Street has this new buzzword. We've been hearing it all week. It's the no landing scenario. It's a spinoff of the dichotomy of a soft versus a hard landing, one in which we see just a slowdown or a full on recession. And in a, lo- a no landing scenario, basically, uh, the economy continues to grow while inflation stays persistently high, even as the Fed raises rates. Um, and what's showing that markets are pricing this in is higher short term rates and uh, infl- uh, one year uh, break even in inflation expectations rising and approaching 3%, particularly after the really strong jobs report, the strong retail sales numbers. And I've been talking to some strategists about what they make of this. And one really interesting perspective I got was from Greg Daco over at EY, friend of the show. He said uh, that this is nonsensical and basically that a no landing scenario is a non-event. So we know that the economy operates in a cycle. Uh, we see a period of growth uh, and, you know, and eventually it reaches a peak, then it contracts, hits a low, and then you know we're back into an expansionary phase. And what he says is that basically, you know, a no landing is just a, de- a delayed landing. And in fact, the longer we see the economy grow, the, the more, uh, you know, the higher the chances are that the Fed will continue to raise rates aggressively. And that actually increases the risk of a hard landing eventually. Uh, you know, Nick Timur- Timeros at The Wall Street Journal, uh, he put it well. He said that a no landing is a de- delayed landing. Right, exactly. I've said I'm not a fan of the phrase no landing, but how the markets come up with this whole no landing idea and and that they are now pricing it in to some degree. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the Fed's extreme data dependence has kind of shifted the narrative over to markets. And so when we see these individual reports, markets are suddenly recalibrating their expectations really abruptly, you know, getting uh, the half a million jobs in January, getting the 3% retail sales number. You know, these are actually outlier reports with a lot of seasonal distortions in them. And markets are suddenly adjusting their expectations and trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, Torsten Slock over at Apollo Management says basically no landing this year brings back the volatility that we saw in 2022, where, you know, markets don't know what the Fed will do. But the thing is, this is another situation of markets not taking the Fed for their word. You know, we have officials over and over saying that we're going to go to 5% above 5%. James Bullard even at some point said 7%. So as long as we see, you know, this continued growth, we will see more aggressive rate hikes and eventually we will get a landing. 